therapy is a critical part of your spine surgery journey. You will be encouraged to get out of bed as soon as possible, usually beginning the night of or the morning after surgery. This will help speed up your recovery from surgery. A physical therapist will teach you how to use your front-wheeled walker and when and how to progress to a cane. They will teach you how to go up and down the stairs, how to get in and out of bed, how to safely stand up and sit down. They will show you how to put on and take off your brace if your surgeon requires it. Your PT will also address getting in and out of your vehicle, your home exercise program, and the application of the ice packs to help with pain relief. We encourage your joint coach to be present at your therapy sessions so they will know how to assist you once you get home. Here are the exercises that your therapist will teach you while in the hospital. Let's start with focusing on normal breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing. Position yourself on your back with your knees bent. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your lips. As you inhale, feel your rib cage and belly expand. And as you exhale, feel your rib cage deflate. Repeat five times. Maintain this normal breathing pattern while performing the following exercises. The first exercise is a bracing technique of your lower abdominal muscles to support your back. Abdominal bracing. Position yourself on your back with your knees bent. Exhale through your lips as you gently tighten your pelvic floor muscles as if you are stopping urination and gently tighten your stomach muscles as you draw your belly button down toward your spine as if you are zipping up a tight pair of pants. Do not hold your breath. You can place your fingers just inside your hip bones. You should feel your muscles tighten up below your fingers. You should not feel the muscles push out into your fingers. Hold for a count of five. Repeat this exercise 10 times. As this gets easier, progress to doing this in seated and standing positions. It is very important to use this abdominal bracing technique while performing the following exercises. Let's begin with glute sets. While lying on your back with your knees bent, brace your abdominals and then squeeze your buttocks. Hold for a count of five. Repeat this exercise 10 times. Let's move on to heel slides. While lying on your back with your knees bent, brace your abdominals and then slowly slide one heel forward on the bed and then slide it back. With your abdominals braced, you should not feel your pelvis rock forward or tilt from side to side. Repeat the heel slide 10 times and then switch legs. Remain on your back and perform ankle pumps. Straighten your legs and simply bend your feet up and down at your ankle joints. Repeat the ankle pumps 25 times. You are in the position to do quad sets. With one knee bent and your other leg straight, brace your abdominals and simply tighten your top thigh muscle of the straight leg by pressing the back of your knee into the bed. Hold for a count of five. Repeat 10 times and then switch legs. Remain on your back for this next exercise, bent knee fallout. With one knee bent and your other leg straight, brace your abdominals and slowly rock the bent knee out. Be sure your pelvis does not rotate. Repeat this movement 10 times. Restabilize your pelvis and repeat with your other leg. In addition to these exercises, we encourage you to walk. Walking should be performed for distances that do not increase any leg pain nor significantly increase your low back pain. Gradually increase time and distance while listening to your low back pain. By the first week after surgery, you should be walking about one block. After a month, you should be aiming for a mile. If your surgeon determines that you need outpatient physical therapy, 
you will start at approximately the four to six week time frame. Patients that had large fusions or a complex spine surgery may be asked to wait until three months after surgery.